start with the head. And I'd like you to do this. In, in March 2020 when the pandemic started and you know it affected people's lives in so many ways and there was just this discourse almost around kind of professionals and um, what it meant for uh, professional stages to be closed but as a company we were really aware of colleges, universities, youth theatres, young companies, schools who also uh, had to stop and in particular that drama provision is a real lifeline for people, particularly in coming together, feeling part of something, connected to others, and it just stopped overnight. So we decided to respond to that by creating positive stories for negative times. The whole focus of the project was to bring people back together again and really looked at kind of recovery of groups. What we're here experiencing now is people literally, physically, in the same space coming back together. It's just dead exciting. In schools, the importance of doing a project like this is undeniable, but um, being able to do it solely with deaf pupils in this school is a chance that doesn't come along often, and I absolutely grabbed it with both hands. To be able to come into a room, use your own language, a language that you feel natural um, using, and just play and explore and create and have people come and watch is just amazing. And this is my signing. I'm a director, a lead director on the project. <laughs> I've got pupils that um, I teach that want to become actors and eventually go on to the RCS and, and study the BSL, the BA in acting. They're working on um, Steph Smith's play, The Pack, which it's quite an abstract piece but it's very visual and that's why I picked that one because working with deaf actors it's always better to have a more visual concept and it's open to um, interpretation what the play's about but for us kids discussed about anxiety and mental health and being trapped somewhere and feeling heavy and wanting to escape which I think everybody can all relate to this year. They've, they've taken it into a place that we wouldn't have imagined. We played greens and then we split them into groups, four different groups, and they made, they created their own ideas, looking at the script, looking at characters, the forest, the wolf, and they were all showing each other what they had created.
change the board so they sign that? Yeah? So they were tired, but yeah, they have run so much, they were really exhausted, so they ran in. Yeah? I love a hunting. From first year, I've always enjoyed drama. It's been great. I love it. I love acting. When I'm acting and the other people are watching it, um, I am proud of myself, but I also like watching the other actors perform, and I'm proud of them. I really want to be, become an actor. That's what I would like to do, and I would like to be involved in movies. There's very few deaf actors in movies, so I think we need to improve that. It's a safe space, drama. It was for me as a kid, and that's why I love to teach it. You could be the quietest person in the room, but it's about exploring life and people and why we are the way they are. It builds a lot of empathy in pupils. You see them go from these kids who sometimes won't even walk in the building, they're that scared, and now they're, they're in a room with you know all their friends, creating a, a piece of work that they not only are performing in, but that they made themselves. Your eyes are on this. Patrick, your head is the same. Okay? So when you lift it up, yeah, that's it.
blessing and filling them in the memorial of the ball so we could hear it. It was so funny building up to that. And there was, a, there was dialogue with the man. They that really, really talked back and forth. You made that? To, uh, well done, well done. We need to move on. always panicked about if there's going to be the audience. Yeah. We don't know yet, we're going to decide later. Probably oh, yes. just, I might phone everyone in Royston, tell them 2 o'clock, come oh, here. Oh. Everyone, maybe 1,000 people, uh -huh. probably, that's enough. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I reckon 2,000 people sell better. Jacob, I'm going to call all the girls you fancy. Come please, please, Jacob, perform. Okay, I'm going to call them. Listen, if I was you, I would be phoning people that I fancy, because they'd be like, whoa, they're amazing. They're, I'm impressed by them. Anyway, moving on. When I grew up, there was not a great arts provision in my area. There was very limited access to the theatre and arts. So I guess my passion for theatre comes from just uh, letting everyone know that everyone has the right to, to work in the creative industries. It's just enabling young people and their families to, to have that belief that they can go and do something, something that they feel really passionate about. So instructions are when can, can you guys lie down the floor? Lie down the floor. Instructions are when you see Patrick die, can you two bring your chairs on to the front? Bring them on. Quick, quick, quick. Quick. I really, really want it to go well because I want everyone in the school to see what the pupils are capable of. So this is their own thing that they've created and they're going to show it's never happened before, it might never happen again and I want it to be a time where they walk away thinking, wow, I'm amazing. When you get the cue, you bow. lucky there's a small class that really wanted to come so they're here you've been working so hard every single day this week that I'm really proud and I'm really impressed and I want you to do the same as what you've been doing this afternoon right making everybody laugh making everybody scared you can do it you've been amazing
My biggest hope um, for the pupils that they take away from this week that their ideas matter and that they have creativity and that they're able to go away and use that. Drama isn't just about people that want to go on and perform, it's about building confidence um, and a kind of self-belief and that's what I want them to take away from, from this week. It's called positive stories for negative times and I think for me I always opt for uh, joy and actually joy and connection being like two of the main drivers to why we do things. And I think that's one thing that I would love for the young people to take away and it's evident in the room, it actually feels joyful for everyone in the room. One of the things that we were kind of told at the very start is um, the deaf unit really all gets to come together and be creative in the same space. So especially after a, a year which has been you know, really disruptive in their education, to get to come back together and do a big creative project is, is really, really exciting. I will feel pumped, I will feel pumped. Yeah. 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 Yeah.